Now we are going to discuss about the cabling issues, right? So we have to identify if I'm going to use any of the cables. It could be the copper cable, fiber cables, or maybe the coaxial cable or LAN cable twisted wire. It means whatever type of cable is going to be for networking, what kind of the issue is going to be arise and how you're going to identify how you're going to troubleshoot that. So it's more about the labs, right? But I have taken a snip from the like uh, our lab and I just try to demonstrate how it is going to happen. So you can see we are talking about the how to identify the interface and the cable issue. So you can see this is a lab, we have the router. So this router have this one cable here and this further switch is connected with the multiple cables with the end point. So if any issue is going to happen on the cables, this cable, this cable, this cable and this cable and this cable, then how it is going to identify? So we have some com command outputs. So I'll just demonstrate how we are going to identify. This is my lab topology. This is the OSPF lab. So probably you are going to get in the later stage how it is going to be used like uh, interfaces. If I just command show IP interface brief, show, show IP interface brief. So above line is just explaining the same thing in the PBS PPT. So you are going to get a lot of information here. So now you can see if you just read the carefully this inter inf information. So you're seeing the interface is administrative down means this is not up interface. It's a down. So I'll explain how it is going to make up in the configuration. Line protocol is also down, but we have to focus about like what is the duplex of this particular link. So this is going to be auto speeds, auto duplex. We have the media type. You can see this is the media means this RJ45 cable is going to connect to LAN cable. And what is the LAN cable? That's the copper cable. Right? This could be the CAT5 cable and that is the CAT6 cable. So these are the cable versions. And you can see here, there are also mentioned some kind of the input queue. Means how many packets we are receiving, right? How many input rate means how many packet we are receiving in the five minute that's the information you can see here right and how many packet we send in the last five minutes that is how much also saying we have the input errors right we have the crc we have the frame overruns ignored packet so these are the things we have the collisions you can see this is the collisions also we have the output errors also like we can see the interface reset so we have the lot of information here like input errors crc frame overruns in like uh, ignored packet we have the output errors right we have the collisions so we have different demands so we have to understand when we have any network problem so you have to go always on the interfaces where this your devices are going to be connected and you have to identify why my interface having any problem means any collision is going to be there any duplex mismatch is going to be there any overruns is going to be there any crc is going to be happen that means your network performance is going to be down.